What's up, G.I. Joe fans? What's up, DreamWorks fans? Guys, we've got a fun one for you. A really cool blast from the past. All the way from 2002, we bring you the G.I. Joe Adventure Team. Sinbad, Legend of the Seven Seas. Sinbad versus Rock. This was a, uh, let's bring this guy in a little bit. This is the third installment of our Sinbad Legend of the uh, Seven Seas uh, series. We did th uh, two figure uh, figure sets, uh, oh man, months ago. And we're bringing you, our, our, bringing you the third and final installment from that series. Once again, this set was released in uh, 2002 by Hasbro. It was a Hasbro and DreamWorks collaboration. And a lot of G.I. Joe fans and collectors kind of, you know, this one got past them a little bit. Because it wasn't really a G.I. Joe more so than it was a DreamWorks um, action figure. But you'll see here, Venture Team, G.I. Joe. From G.I. Joe. So this is a cool cartoon. Uh, I watched the uh, cartoon slash movie, I should say, with my uh, kids a while back. And it was cool. I'm, I'm a big Sinbad fan. Uh, those uh, 1960 movies, Sinbad, you know, versus everybody. <laughs> those type of movies, really cool movies. The Golden Fleece, Fleece and all that stuff. Um, really cool. So I, I, I was always a, a big Sinbad fan. And uh, DreamWorks came out with the cartoon uh, slash movie. Really awesome. And Hasbro put together this figure set, uh, a, a three figure set type situation where they came out with three figure sets and uh, all of them was really cool. Um, I purchased this from uh, Toys R Us back in 2002, uh, along with my other two sets. Um, this, these sets are very well made, uh, beautiful, playability factors off the charts. Uh, the collectability factor is off the charts as well. Um, these sets are absolutely stunning. Very good, just gorgeous. Very well made. As you, we're looking at uh, our Sinbad here, the head sculpt is identical to his cartoon slash movie counterpart, I should say. There is, he's got, he comes with three knives. Look at this with the holster type thing on a you know slash sash on uh going around his chest here he's got one of his knives in his hand pointed directly at rock's throat there rock is a a gigantic bird eagle bird type of creature as you can see he's made out of that bendy type material wingspan is awesome and this is why I just, I, I fell in love with, let's bring this guy down. I fell in love with this figure set right here. Um, and it's heavy too. It looks like I'm just moving this, this box around, card around like I want to, but I'm really not. It's, it's very heavy. But beautifully done. Gung-ho grip hands. See, he's got his boots on there. Came with the molded, the molded uh, shirt, which was fine. It was different. Cost saving, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I call it different and, and it added its own uh, bit of charm uh, to this set. So once again, you had so much happening with this set.
let's uh, turn this guy on the side here. More adventure team. So this was considered a G.I. Joe. And some collectors in the G.I. Joe com community would not consider this a G.I. Joe. But you have to. If it's under the G.I. Joe banner, you had to. And this is one of my first uh, endeavors of kind of going outside of my G.I. Joe collecting. You know, because I saw this set and the other two sets like this. And I said, ah, are they G.I. Joes? But they were so cool and so well made. That was enough for me. And it was cool enough for me. And uh, and now looking, you know, what, 16 years later, uh, our museum has grown leaps and bounds with other action figure lines and stuff. It's a no brainer now to me uh, that I bought this. So here's to get you a back, just a blown out shot. This is the back of the card. The card is gorgeous. Here's the backstory here. You see how Hasbro slides the, the GI Joe adventure team into the, uh, the storyline. There's Rock. This is a beautiful picture. Rock and there's Sinbad doing battle with Rock. Guys, if you're just joining us, welcome to the MIB Master Museum. This is what we do. We're hanging out. I'm off today. I feel a little bit better. I had a cup of coffee already. So I want to do some more videos. I want to get some more videos out. I want to have some fun. So we're hanging out in our museum. You want to freeze this, you can kind of pause that. And if you want to read the backstory here on Sinbad. And Rock is a 40 foot tall bird. Let's get you a year. 2002 and there's our there's our DreamWorks logo there so Hasbro really did some collaborations back in the day had a lot of fun with you know getting their figures out and hooking their figures up with other um, lines guys what do you think of our Sinbad versus Rock figure. Do you have this guy? Are you looking for this guy? Uh, super cool figure. Beautifully done. I would definitely recommend uh, you picking picking this guy up. I've seen this guy on eBay. Oh my goodness, go for $180. I've seen him for $80. I've seen him for $75. I wouldn't tell you what price would be good for this? Because I try to stay out of that, but I can tell you what I've seen him go for. Um, rarity wise, he's, he's, you could say he's, he's rare in the sense where if you want to just say that the price is, is kind of high on him at times, maybe that's because I don't know if they produced a lot of these figures. Hasbro was trying to try something different. And at that point in time, I don't know how well it went over with uh, G.I. Joe collectors. So, Sinbad fans, uh, it probably went over well. You see our guys, uh, this is factory sealed. So I would say, you could say he's kind of rare. He's highly collectible. Um, that's a cert, that's a definitely, that's a, that's a fact. He's very, very collectible. The head sculpt, once again, is just beautiful. Beautifully done. And we just wanted to get our third installment. Uh, I was told by a subscriber that, hey, you never did the third Sinbad. Legend of the Seven Seas uh, review, figure review. 
trigger set review. I said, you know, he's, I, I think he's right. So we had two. We didn't get, we didn't get, never, never got around to doing a third one. So many things are coming up and so many videos. We're trying to get so many videos out. So that's why, guys. But we got them out for you. Turn this guy back around one last time. I just want to get you all of the shots here. Collectors love the close-ups. So we want to do, he's got this big knife right here. The selling point on this figure was um, a couple things. Outside of rock, this uh, giant, gigantic, beautiful bird, gorgeous bird. Rock was one of the selling points. That wingspan is awesome. Sinbad's outfit was the the other selling point. Um, these knives with the sash that holds the knives to, to me were just, you know, awesome. So that was another that was, you know, those are the two those are the two selling points on this figure. And on top of that, you know, Sinbad is just a, just a awesome, awesome character. And like I said, when I was a kid, I used to watch all those Sinbad movies. My dad used to watch them, and we'd watch them together, and my brothers and I. So I just love that adventure, going up against all those strange creatures and you know, unbeatable situations that Sinbad seemed to get himself into and he would always come out on top. So, super cool. Guys, we'd like to thank you for hanging out with us today in our museum, uh, spending some time with uh, Sinbad, Legend of the Seven Seas versus um, Rock, our figure set. The G.I. Joe Adventure Team. We got more fun on the way, guys. More surprises right around the corner. You know the routine. God bless. And keep collecting.